Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. Today's episode is in fact just outside my door and it's very appropriate because this episode today is about juvenile black snakes and how they're often mistaken and killed by people thinking they're copperheads or by people that are simply afraid of them. And this is the good snake. This is a harmless snake. This is a great snake to have around your house, your home, in a barn, in a tool shed, or anywhere close to your premises. And I'll tell you why. So stay tuned for this episode. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. I believe this to be the snake most commonly killed in the state of Virginia. And I believe this is so because it is one of the most common snakes. It does really well near human habitation because they are rodent feeders and they will live where there's mice and where there's humans and buildings and homes and sheds and barns, they're going to be mice. So these snakes will go where they are. Another reason I believe these are so frequently killed is because they do often show up near houses because the females will often lay eggs in mulch. And I've had numerous reports from uh, friends and associates telling me about a clutch of eggs they've found or a number of juvenile black snakes emerging from mulch near their house. So again, here's another connection with humans. Mulch makes a great spot for these snakes to lay their eggs. I've gotten so many calls from people, I can't tell you how many times, where they'll send me a photo of a decapitated juvenile black snake, and they'll ask me either what kind of snake is it, or they'll come out and ask, is it a copperhead? Well, of course, for me, it's easy to identify it's not a copperhead. And the first thing people think when I tell them, well, that's a juvenile black rat snake, and they say, well, it's not black. So hence another problem. Juvenile black snakes are not black. So people who are not in the know see this mottled snake and they think, oh, copperheads, they've got a mottled color to them. And that's not a black snake, so I'll have to kill it. And I wish people would not make killing the snakes or so many people feel that the only good snake is a dead snake but this is a great snake to have around your house or barn because they eat rodents and they eat mice and that's the main thing and the only thing that these guys eat are mice and we need to have that rodent population reduced because they can be carriers and vectors of disease and simply because they're kind of dirty animals they will urinate and poop everywhere in their living area. And if they're living in your house or your barn or your shed or your workshop, you will see trails of urine and poop throughout your building. I often say on my videos, oh, this is a harmless black snake. And I get corrected by people in other countries, especially Australia, where the black snake is actually a very venomous snake. So when I say black snake, I mean Eastern rat snake, I mean the black rat snake, and it comes by so many names. It's known here in Virginia as the black rat snake, the Allegheny black snake, the black chicken snake, the black colubrid, the black pilot snake, the black racer, the blue racer, the chicken snake, the mountain black snake, the mountain pilot snake, the pilot snake, the racer snake, the rat snake, the rusty black snake, and the scaly black snake. What I'm holding here is the black rat snake native to the state of Virginia that is, whose scientific name is Pantherophus alleghaniensis. So we don't make any mistake in the identification. So I've also gone to great lengths in this episode to show you close up details of this snake so that you can uh, really get to know it and really learn to recognize it. And because that's the best way to learn about snakes is to really be able to know them, identify them, recognize them, and then you won't make the mistake uh, to kill a snake thinking or uh, that it's needed to be fear or that it's a copperhead or some other snake. And copperheads and rattlesnakes and water moccasins, they all have their place in the ecology too. And none of these snakes need to be needlessly killed. Keep in mind that a copperhead has a very different color 
And one of the easiest ways to remember the details of a copperhead is to think hourglasses or Hershey's Kisses. Copperheads have on their sides a Hershey's Kiss kind of shape, an hourglass kind of shape to their markings that these snakes don't have. You'll notice that these snakes have brown spots on a gray background with uh, larger spots on the back, smaller spots on the side, and if you do turn one over, you can see that they have kind of a checkerboardy kind of pattern to their underbelly, and it's white. So remember again that the juveniles of black snakes are not all black, and they'll lose that uh, juvenile pattern, and it will start to disappear as they get older. Black snakes are my favorite snake. I have probably six or seven episodes all about their biology, their ecology, interesting facts about them, how they climb trees, how they can climb almost any uh, human-made structure or wall, how they can rattle their tail and dry leaves and sound like a rattlesnake, how they can spread their head out into a triangle, look like a venomous snake, and much more. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door. If you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks again for watching this episode of the Juvenile Black Rat Snake here in Virginia at 2,700 feet in Appalachian Mountain.